San Diego has been a dream. I still can't believe I moved here already six months ago and get to call this place home. Since my fiance, Mike, and I both work remotely, we spend a lot of time around the house. It's taken some time to establish new routines and feel like we've gotten situated, but every day it feels like we're getting closer and closer to being there. In this video, I wanted to share what it's really been like for us working from home in San Diego. I'll walk you through our work from home setup, as well as what's been working well and what's been challenging. But before we get into that, I wanted to share some exciting news. I started a jobs board. On the jobs board, I'm curating remote focused roles in product design, UX research, content design, and design operations from the best companies to work at as a designer in tech. While living in San Francisco, I was super lucky to have met some amazing design leaders and have attended many design events at tech offices, which have helped me to gain good perspective around what companies are helping to set up designers for success. As I continue to maintain this job board, I will continue to do my research too, since my aim is to curate roles to help you find jobs that you love on supportive design teams. The roles will also all be remote friendly, since that's kind of my thing now. Just make sure to check whether the roles are remote in your country or not. And I'll be doing my best to try to find good global remote focused roles to share. So click the link in the video video's description to check out the jobs board and then subscribe to it so you can get notified when new roles are posted. Okay, to start, let's chat about my work from home setup. Mike and I live in a three bedroom house with an attached garage. One of the rooms is our bedroom, one is a guest bedroom, and the third is a studio. The studio is my main work from home spot and I love it. In the studio, we have two desks set up in an L shape with monitors. We can both work and even take meetings next to each other as if we were in a real live office. We're still working on making some updates and improvements in the space like painting these turquoise walls. So once that is done, look out for a video from me on the final look and setup of this room. But sometimes being next to each other isn't ideal for working, like in cases where we both need to be presenting on calls. So we also have an office set up in part of our garage, which we have been slowly transforming into more of a living space. The desk here is the one we brought from San Francisco, which is Ikea's manual sit-stand desk. Highly recommend it. It's a great product, especially if you don't want to deal with all of the cords that come with a electric sit-stand desk. This office area operates mainly as Mike's core office setup and he likes to mostly stand during the day. So his desk is actually usually all the way up and I don't think he's ever moved it down, which is really good for him. So what's been working well? Well, one of my favorite parts of working from home is having slow mornings. To me, this means taking my time in the morning to get ready, get settled, get hydrated, and just take some time to myself. Sometimes I'll read newsletters that I'm subscribed to or read a book. Working remotely means no commuting to the office, so having that extra 20 to 40 minutes back to do what I want it's really special. Another thing that I've loved about working remotely is just having lunch with Mike. <laughs> it's like a little extra family time in the middle of the day that is only made possible because we're both working from home. And we've been cooking a lot lately, so the food is actually just really good too. And considering we spend a majority of our day and week working, I'm super grateful for this time that helps break up the day. And lastly, I love working from home because I have my own quiet space to work. Normally in the office, I'm used to working in an open floor plan, which has been nice in many ways, like being able to just tap on a colleague's shoulder and jam on something together, but it can also be distracting and hard to concentrate on work. And look, I know not everyone may resonate with this point because people have different setups at home. Some may even have more distractions being at home with like small kids running around. But for me, with where I'm at, I found working remotely like this to be nice and therefore helps me in being productive. Some things have been challenging, of course. For example, when Mike and I have found ourselves in the same room while we both needed to present something on a call. So since we've been building out our office in the garage, this has become less of a problem, but we have run into this in the past and it was definitely challenging from time to time. There can also be at-home distractions that I run into. You know, I am at home after all. For example, every month we have landscapers who come and it can be really loud outside while they are working. And sometimes my dog Coda will whine at me to let her out on the patio while I'm in the middle of trying to present something. And yeah, I mean, again, we're at home, things come up. But really, I think that the biggest thing that is challenging for me with working remotely is missing the energy of being in the office and all the serendipity that comes with it. I've made many friends and collaborated with various colleagues on projects purely because of the serendipitous moments we've had in the office. There's just nothing quite like it and working remotely makes that incredibly challenging. 
But enough about me, let's hear what Mike's perspective is on working from home. Okay, I have some questions for you today. Let's hear them. What is your favorite part about working from home? I think the thing I like the most about working from home is the flexibility and also surfing during the lunch break is pretty cool too. That's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> and what would you say is the biggest challenge? Pretty obvious. I think the number one is just not working face to face with people sometimes. Some of the meetings we I maybe when I was in the office I would be able to walk into one of the my team members' offices and we could just talk through a certain issue or a certain concern I may have and, and sometimes something that could just be a quick five minute conversation can get drawn out a little longer. So I think efficiencies aren't as maximized. What has been your favorite work from home meal that we've made together? During lunch? I don't know if I have a favorite, but we have just our standard that I loved so much. When Alexa <laughs> okay. calls for the standard, this is what happens. Sourdough bread, we get it from our favorite bakery here in San Diego. Then you do uh, avocado, layer bacon, eggs, sunny side up. Sunny side up. And then what? Pepper and then hot sauce. It's, it's simple, but it's just so, so good. good. The bread's amazing. How do you really feel about the turquoise walls? I like them. It's the truth. What? <laughs> just kidding. I just don't want to redo all the work to redo them, but sometimes you gotta do what the fiance likes. <laughs> so we'll be repainting them shortly. Hopefully. All right, that's gonna wrap up what it's really been like for us working from home. If you made it this far, thanks so much for sticking around. If you don't know me, my name is Alexa. I make videos here on YouTube about design, careers in tech, life in San Diego, working remotely, which I'm now officially a remote employee, working for a tech company that's based in San Francisco. If you're interested in any of those things, I'd love for you to be a subscriber. And then don't forget to check out my new jobs board. It's linked in the description below. Feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions about the roles I've posted. I'm really trying to curate this list of companies that I know to have good, good reputations in the design community and to have a supportive culture for designers to help set you up for success in a career in design. Let me know if you have any feedback or questions about any of the roles that I posted there. You're welcome to try and reach out to me on Instagram and I do my best to try to respond to anyone who reaches out with questions as they relate to design and career. I think that's gonna be all for now though. Hope to see you next time. Bye.